Hello and thanks for joining us. In today's video, we're going to be covering a twining sequence. The sequence is called Mount Donkey, Turn the Body. And it consists of a, an inside crescent kick, crescent kick with the rear leg, followed by a twining the shoulder. Uh, let's start with the demonstration from three different views. First from the front. Now from the left side. And now from the right side. Okay. So, um, this is a really good movement for linking um, some larger movements together, um, and it's also good for concealing movements within movements, um, but I think we'll talk about that quite a bit ways, uh, quite a ways down the line. So we can understand this movement by breaking it down into three steps. First, let's look at the stance. With your lead hand is at the rear, your anchor hand is at the front, and you're in this forward-facing stance. So this is how the movement starts. So step one, a front spin. Step two, an inside crescent kick with the rear leg, and we're gonna spin 180 degrees. So when we're done spinning, we're gonna kick, and we're gonna step down our, we're gonna kick with our right leg, and the, la the right leg is gonna land in front of us when we land. So we're facing this way, we're gonna kick and spin, 180 degrees and, and plant that, that same right foot down on the floor. Together, it looks like this. Now you notice my spin on my uh, meteor hammer is a reverse spin after I land. Okay, I'll show you that one more time. Starts in a front spin. Okay, now this sets us up for twining the shoulder which is our third step. Now you notice when I twine the shoulder, my feet, they just pivot on the heels. Okay, I don't lift my feet up off the ground. So that's the third step. So let's do it slowly, all three movements. Movement number one. Movement number two. Movement number three. All right, we can do it a little bit faster. Number one, number two, number three. Once we get the hang of it, we can tie them all together continuously with no extra spins in between each movement. Uh, a lot like this. Okay, the, on the downswing, goes from my leg on the upswing, goes straight to my shoulder as I turn over. So it goes leg, the upswing, straight to the shoulder. Okay? So it's kind of like bouncing. It goes down, bounces up, and then goes to the shoulder, and then it comes forward again. So um, when, we, when we break it down, it's a lot easier to digest these movements. But this one is, is a fairly basic one. It should take you a little, not too much time, maybe just I don't know, a couple of days to get this one down really, really smoothly. I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks. Um, move at your own pace. Remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Try all the movements uh, individually. First, try your front spin. Uh, try your uh, 180 uh, crescent kick. If you don't want to throw the kick every time, you can just raise your knee up and throw like that. Like a practice uh, kick, but of course you're going to want to spin your 180. And put your foot down. When you're done with that, try throwing the kick, the actual kick, doing a 180. And then once you're uh, once you're comfortable with that, you can add in twining the shoulder. If you haven't seen uh, the tutorials or you're unfamiliar with those movements on the crescent kick, inside crescent kick with the rear leg or with twining the shoulder, then go and check out my channel. 
You can see the videos there on those tutorials on how to do those movements. Uh, thank you so much for watching. That concludes uh, this lesson. We'll see you next time.